Welcome back to Let's Play Shantae, Risky's Revenge. I'm Burning Dogface, and I now return you to right where we left off. Exactly the wrong direction. Let's just keep running this. Oh god. Well, this is embarrassing. Oh fuck. I find it kind of funny that. It still has the same weak spot it did at the beginning of the game. Come on! Fuck, oh, right into it. And I'm gonna be honest, I had a bit of trouble with it in the first boss fight, because... Well, when, it did, when I didn't think it worked the first time I tried it, I wasn't surprised, because I wasn't expecting it to work again. Oh hey, that's bad. Ah, oh, fuck. Amateur here. I guess I'm not getting paid for this. Hell, even Shantae is not getting paid for this. She hasn't gotten her job back yet. You know what? I'm just gonna put the uh, fucking spinny blades on the next time uh, he sends out minions. Fuck. It has to be the first one. That's the only conclusion I can come to for why it didn't work the uh, first time I tried it. Fuck you! Oh, right! When you, uh... When you take a screenshot, when you push anything on the keyboard or mouse controls, it overwrites the controller, so even though I was still holding down, down, it didn't count anymore. Fuck! There's the timer, and I haven't even gotten to uh, Nega Shantae yet. considering her ship is exploding underneath her. Kind of like that guy from the end of the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie, except it was, uh, that guy was in shock. I want to see if this plays out any differently. So I haven't hit back yet to skip everything.
Oh yeah, that's what the uh, I saw that in one of those what are they called? Info boxes on the uh the screen. Apparently the boss is is referred to by the developers as Nega Shante, which is really weird because even the achievement here only refers to her as uh Genie clone. I don't know, maybe this wasn't even the developers, maybe it was just a name the fans came up with. After seeing them mess up the name of a major area in the game, like Tangle Forest. Maybe the, uh, things weren't written by such bright people. I don't know. Uh, do not hesitate. Destroy this brat. There is an achievement for uh, beating this boss without using any potions, but you know. Points for at least coming up with an attack for the. Uh, the mermaid form. monkey form has red eyes. God damn! That one sucks, because I don't really know what the, how to, if there's any way to avoid that. Ah, oh, there. Stand behind her. Fuck. Oh, god damn it! I know she's messing with me. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. With the, uh... Pink outfit on. What am I going to use for the thumbnail for this one? The, uh... The steamship? The, uh... Me holding the jar above my head? Owned! It's over, Risky. You fool! You would destroy your superior half in exchange for this town full of simpletons? Then enjoy your victory. It's only temporary. The last laugh will be mine. Ho ho ho! Huh. I guess it makes sense that she would have to lose her powers either way, because... The gist, you know, the Steam description did say stripped, you know, stripped of her powers, and and I'm guessing that's what the pirate's curse is. 
I still don't know what's up with that. I have to assume that's a reference to the original, to something that happened in the original game. You know, I'm going to be honest, I was convinced that... I was so convinced that Risky's plan would involve destroying the seals that that was the only reason I could think of for Shantae not breaking them herself. You know, because the writing needed them to be intact when we got to the final encounter. I mean, just think about it. If she smashed the first seal as soon as she finished the squid dungeon, boom! Problem solved. Ah, oh, it's good water. She seems pretty, uh, cheery for being so downhearted. Yes, no. Squid children look so happy. I mean, yeah, everyone looks happy, but they're just stoked! Well, look at these split. And Mimic's just kind of there. Along with the Squid Baron. I really want him to have, like, a shop or something in the sequel, so he's just there in town. I was hoping to do this in one video, but maybe uh, I'll have to split it in half. I don't get it. That played out exactly the same way as the other ending. Unless there's like a post credit scene or something. Tell you what, this time I'll uh, skip through most of this. Okay, here's the special thanks section. It's a very quick credit sequence. You're welcome, extremely enthusiastic, enth enthusiastic message. Ugh. If I could speak, I'd be okay. Yes. Booyah. Oh, that's not the same image it showed before. I guess that's what it's talking about. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Actually, I wouldn't have expected this image, <clears throat> even if that is uh, what I knew all the ending changes.
I would have expected, you know, a more exciting image of Shantae, actually. Well! There you have it. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, even for a uh, downloadable Nintendo DS game, I was expecting a little bit more than that. But, uh... I do feel pretty good about coming back and actually getting those items. You know, maybe the reward wasn't completely worth it, but, uh... I feel good about finding everything in this game. I very rarely do that in a Metroidvania-style game. So! Do you mind backing off, buddy? Thank you. I'm Burning Dogface, and for reals this time, I'd like to thank you. Stop smelling my hair. Fine, I'll stand over here. I'm Burning Dogface, and on behalf of myself, Shantae, and all her colorful friends. I'd like to thank you for joining me for Let's Play Shantae Risky's Revenge. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves, and I hope you'll join me for my next video series. Till then, later! <laughs>